What's going on everybody? Beastly Gamer here. Welcome to the Beastly Gamer channel. Today I want to talk to you guys about this news that Sony will not be at Gamescom this year. Uh, Sony just announced this and I want to give you guys my thoughts on it. Let me say this. First of all, I'm a big fan of conferences. I love video game conferences. I've been loving them for years. I remember years ago we couldn't see them on the, on the TV. It was all in our EGMs or our, you know Nintendo Powers. You know, these magazines were our only gateway to the information that was going on at like Tokyo Game Show or E3. It wasn't televised. And uh, the whole culture of video gaming has changed so much in the last 20 years. I mean, it's really a awesome thing to see what's happened to us. And I say us because now it's a respectable thing to be a fucking gamer. And uh, I love it. But anyway, Sony has announced that they will not be at Gamescom this year. And there's an article on IGN.com. I'll put a link in the description for you guys to read the whole article. But... This is what they said. A Sony spokesperson told an IGN representative that the decision was made due to the proximity of E3 and Gamescom, before emphasizing a more meaningful event could be held during October's Paris Game Week. So what they're saying is they think that E3 and Gamescom are just too close in the year. Uh, and I really understand that. I really respect that. If they're too close in the year, there's really not much that you can reveal. If you just revealed everything at E3, you can't turn right around and re-reveal it. It's just going to be boring. And so for me, that's actually pretty respectable. Uh, they continue that they're delighted to announce that they will be hosting an international media briefing at Paris Game Week on uh, the 27th of October. So if you take into account that E3 is in June, I think on the 16th, I'm taking that whole week off, man. I want to be able to experience E3 this year and uh, absorb all the reveals and all the video game news and all the, the demos and all that shit. I'm really looking forward to that. And so after E3 in September, you got Gamescom, and then you got this Paris Games Week, which I've never heard of until now. And that's in October. So those two are a month apart. I can actually really understand Sony deciding to hold off to a later date. Because, hey man, three months after E3, you're going to do another show. I'd much rather do four months. It gives them an opportunity to polish whatever they're working on. It might get, That 30 days might be exactly what they need to you know create a vertical slice, to make something that much better for their for their hungry audience, you know, people who are excited about their games. And then we got to take into account that they also do the PlayStation Experience every year now. You know, the first PlayStation Experience was a real success. You know, they did, um, they revealed the Uncharted 4 at least, and they unveiled a whole bunch of stuff there that really got PlayStation fans hyped. And if you guys don't know what PSX is, it's Sony's PlayStation only conference. It's PlayStation hardware, software, and titles, and it's it's really awesome. They did charge. They do charge for you to, to be there, but I'm more interested in the news. So it's kind of a chess game for Sony. They've really got to you know figure out exactly when and how they're going to reveal their games. They got to allow their developers ample time to get their shit together. Because let's be honest, there's only a handful of exclusives on the PlayStation platform right now that are must-haves. And uh, you know if, if they got talented developers out there in the streets working hard to make them. Don't blow your load too early, Sony. You know, take your time. Show it when it's ready. You guys let me know what you think in the comments below. Should Sony show up at Gamescom this year uh, just to show themselves? I mean, they've been there since 2009. So, I mean, it's been six years of solid Sony at Gamescom. Or do you think it's fine for them to just let it slide and, and slide on back to the next date, which is Paris Games Week? You guys let me know in the comments below. As always, guys, thanks for all the support. You guys hit that thumbs up button and help out the channel. And if you're new to subscribe, I'm the Beastly Gamer, and I'll see you guys next time.